Good morning, everyone. This is Jamie from Learn and Miss Quesano. Today, I'm gonna to give you a tutorial on how to scan the gluteus minimus and medius tendons of the First lateral. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna roll your patient into a decubitus position. In this case, I'm actually gonna demonstrate on the patient's right hip. Typically, when you do a hip exam, you would use a high frequency curved transducer to have the transducer pair well with the curvature of the hip. But in this case, when you're scanning the gluteus minimus and medius tendons, you want to use the highest frequency transducer that you have without losing resolution. So I'm actually going to use a linear 12 megahertz transducer on this patient. To start off, you want to find your landmark, which is the greater trochanter of the femur. And you want to start off with your transducer transverse on the patient's body with the notch facing towards your thumb. So when you put the transducer down over the greater trochanter, the landmark that you're looking for right here in the center of the screen is called the apex. So I just want to orient you to what you're looking at on the screen. So because the patient's on their side, the top of the screen is actually lateral, the bottom of the screen is medial, the right side of the screen is anterior, and the left side of the screen is posterior. So that helps us orient to which side you'll find the gluteus minimus and which side you'll find the gluteus medius. So the gluteus minimus tendon is the most anterior of the gluteus tendon, so it's gonna be on the right side of the screen here. And the bony attachment to the greater trochanter is the anterior facet. Now on the posterior side of the screen, you're gonna find the gluteus medius tendon here, which inserts onto the lateral facet of the greater trochanter. And if you sweep a little bit more posterior, this area here is actually the greater trochanteric bursa along the posterior facet. But we're gonna focus today mostly on the gluteus minimus and gluteus medius tendons. So once you find this apex, I think the easiest way to make sure that you're in the right tendon is to turn your probe clockwise like this over the anterior facet and then you know you're at the gluteus minimus tendon. Now if you can really focus on how my transducer is angled, you'll see that the gluteus minimus muscle and tendon run anterior like this. So on the screen this is anterior facet and gluteus minimus tendon. If I slide my probe up then this is gluteus minimus muscle. And you always want to sweep through the tendon in the long axis from anterior to posterior like this. It's very subtle movements. And then you want to turn short axis and scan the probe from its distal insertion to the proximal myotendinous junction. And you want to use um, your scan technique of toggling the probe up and down to eliminate any anisotropy. So while I'm scanning proximally, I'm tilting the probe downward to eliminate anisotropy here until the myotendinous junction. Now you're gonna come back to the apex and you're gonna move the probe posterior to focus on the gluteus medius tendon. So now again, you're gonna turn the probe clockwise to elongate the gluteus medius tendon, which is usually a more prominent tendon this is here. Now your probe's kind of more straightened down and in line with the leg. So this here is the lateral facet, and this here is the gluteus medius tendon. And if I slide my probe more proximal, you see the gluteus medius muscle. So same technique, you're going to sweep in the long axis from anterior to posterior. And then you're going to come back and sweep in the short axis from the distal insertion to the proximal myotendinous junction. And then you always want to take a look at the greater trochanter because that's the most, the greater trochanteric pain is the most common cause of uh, hip, lateral hip pain is a uh, bursitis. So you're looking for any fluid collection along the posterior facet here or deep to the gluteus medius tendon. 
There's a lot more structures that we would talk about in the hip normally, but I'm just focusing on the minimus and medius tendons today. One more tidbit that's important, when you're scanning the gluteus minimus tendon, the bursa located between the gluteus minimus and the anterior facet is the subgluteus minimus bursa located right here. When there's no fluid, it's collapsed so you can't see it. And if you slide your probe posterior to the gluteus medius tendon, the bursa located between the gluteus medius and the lateral facet is the subgluteus medius bursa located right here. See this little black sliver? When it's normal, again, it's collapsed. So that's just something to keep an eye on that the greater trochanteric bursa isn't the only bursa in the lateral hip. You can also have bursitis in either one of those areas. Okay, we'll go over more stuff next week. Thanks for watching.